good day traders in today's video i'm going to give you a little bit of uh, analysis on chile usdt pair now in the last couple of days i do a video on um, chile going down if you look at our channel you will see this very analysis when i talk about a a bearish glue spotted on chile and that is going to um, come a little bit down and i figure i just um, as well tell you guys the point where you expect the move to you know drop to. so in today's video i'm going to do another set of video on that very on this very pair and where you should expect the next bullish move to start because right now we've seen um, a, a, a little couple of um, a great deal of retracement to the downside and then um, in that video i talk about the parabolic move Okay, let me put the video on the full screen. But before I do that, ensure you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and turn on the notification bell. So if you look at uh, the move right here, you see the market moved from this very area down to this very point, this way it closed. Okay, this way the candle closed. And then after that, I, I do a video that this very bullish close is going to go right down. And right now you see the market is down. It is not always advisable when you see the market move in the parabolic move like this, you get into the market because any guy that buy at this very level is going to wait till the market move right up. So when you see a parabolic move like this in the market, it's always very advisable. You wait for a nice retracement because as we all know market will always retrace before the next move to the upside i repeat again market will always retrace before the next move to the upside so it's always advisable after a parabolic move or if you see a parabolic move don't just enter the market wait for the retracement to happen or to occur then at the end of retracement you can now get in now the the question should have been where can i spot out or, or how can i spot out the end of a retracement after a parabolic move so that i can enter with other traders in the next impulse now there are a couple of tools that you can use to spot at the end of retracement like the fibonacci retracement you can use the stochastic and also the macd now any of these two can be used to you know spot out the end of retracement in the market after a parabolic move like this so if you look at the channel i mean remittory channel right now you will discover that most of our analysis about 80 percent of the analysis we've done on the channel is always very correct and in line remember not all traders all traders if you you know do analysis all the time what make you a professional like i always said is not that your analysis don't fail it fail but to a very minimum extent to a very minimum extent so if you look at the channel our analysis are always very very great so now is the time for you to you know look out for chz usdt pay and then is it a good time to enter or should we still wait a little bit more so in today's video i'm going to show you a brief analysis on how this very pair is going to move in the next couple of weeks or days so after this bullish move you see the market ride very well to the upside now the first thing i have seen in this very market now when there was a down uh, move when this bearish move was going down to the downside see market move down to this point we see the market retrace to the upside have a few swing the first one was very significant and then right now market drops again and then it creates a new loop now the question is does this move hold now we want to see a fail swing so the first thing you have to look out for is a fail swing to the downside that is we want to see if market move to the upside and let's say this little bit of resistance hold this market right here and we see here and the market comes down we want to see a fill swing first now a first swing will indicate or tell us that okay this move is not gonna go down anymore and that we should expect a bullish move to the upside from this very area so once we see a fair swing is an indication that the market is going to ride up and this resistance will likely hold the market at this point will likely hold the market at this point before it will retrace and retest this very you know resistance and the market will go right up so we're going to expect something like this on this very move remember the other analysis i did was on the bullish move and then 
the last analysis i did was on the bearish move and then now we are expecting another bullish move on chz usdt pair so this is what i am expecting on chile in the next coming days now not only that what really prompted me to do this video and review this analysis is when chile was going down when it was going down right here when it was going down we see a drastic reduction in volume we see a drastic reduction in volume there was a so so much drastic reduction in volume to um about that that is about 54 you know thousand us dollar in the last 24 hours but now we've seen a drastic increase there's a drastic rise in the 24 hour volume of chile so if you go down and and look at the trade history you see you will see a whole lot of buys here in the trade history so with together with all these fundamentals um i think it's the right time to position yourself well on this very pair for the next bullish move on chz usdt pair now not only that if you look at the stochastic if you look at the stochastic If, if you look at the stochastic, remember we are on one day chart. The stochastic have been moving right down, right down. So what we are looking out for here, let me just increase the parameter for a little bit of good visibility. So if you look at this very move, the market has moved right down and the stochastic has been moving to the downside. Now, the stochastic is already in the oversold region. The stochastic is already in the oversold region with this very candle start forming. Now, at here, what we want to expect is the market here on the stochastic is that the blue line here should cross over the red line. There should be a sign telling us that the market is going to go up by the blue line moving you know crossing over the red line and then it should cross a little bit out of the 20 percent mark on the stochastic indicator then right here we want to see a bullish momentum in the market there should be a little bit of bullish momentum in the market this is what should help you trigger your position this is what should help you trigger your position is very important I repeat again you see the market has been moving down and then we see down here market has been moving to the downside and then this is already at oversold region so what we want to see here is the blue line should cross over the red line and it should move a little bit out of the 20 percent line on the on the stochastic here which should indicate a bullish momentum in the candlestick on this very pair or you should not place the trade yet wait this is what you should see now another thing you have to look out for is if you use the fib retracement if you look at the fib retracement if the market move from here to this side we want to look at the possible levels where the market could have retreat so if you look at the Fibonacci retracement now in an uptrend you know you draw your fib retracement from swing low to swing high to get the retracement point so if i draw from swing low to swing high here and I'm, I'm going to use the body, not the, the week of the candle. I'm going to use the body. So at this very point, you see the market is already at the 0 0.382 level, which is the Fibonacci ratio. So anything that makes the market to break out of this very level, we want to see the market retest this one and it's going to go right up. But what you want to see, what you're going to look out for on the stochastic is a cough out a cough out of the 20 percent mark which should be that the green line which should be that the green line should be on top of the red line and then the market is going to move up and you should be able to figure out a good little bit of you know bullish momentum in the candle right here so if you see that is enough reason for you to just you know trigger your position remember this exact same thing we are going to be doing in the vip signal group this exact same thing we're going to be doing and i'm going to give the signal right there once i see this very thing play out right on my chart so that is that guys for today's 
video now if you want to enroll for the remit mentorship and training program you can check in the description below and you know contact us immediately and i will you know reply you and get into class with us so thank you very much for watching today's video i will see you in the next video and share subscribe to the channel hit that like button and turn on the notification bell thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video